Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Nadwa and in this video we are going to generate the employee details and compute the salary based on the department. So first of all we are going to create a table called employee. So for that I have to click on run SQL command that is shortcut on my desktop. Otherwise you can click on start button and here you can find run SQL command line. So click on this so you will get this run sql command line window here you need to type connect and press enter here it will ask the user to enter user name you have to type system and press enter now it is asking the user to enter password so i'm going to type password only because i have typed this password as password at the time of installation of oracle 10g and now I'm going to press enter. Here you can see it is displaying connected. Now it's time to create a table. I'll write create command table. Then the name of the table is employee. And inside the round bracket, I'm going to write the first field called EMP ID. And the data type is number. Here I'm going to write the maximum size as four and the comma and the next field that i'm going to write is e name that is employee name and whose data type is var char that is variable character and here i'm going to give the size as 20 that means maximum 20 character names can be entered comma i'll write department name here department name data type is also var char and now i'm going to give the size of department is also 20 comma i'll write the next column doj that is date of joining and here the data type is date now i'm going to write salary the next column is salary and whose data type is number and here i'm going to write 5 and close the bracket and put semicolon and press enter here you can see table created so once the table is created next what we need to do we need to insert values into employee table so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go for typing the command called insert into there are three methods to insert values into the table the first method i'm going to teach over here second and third later on we are going to study so insert into i'll write the name of the table is employee so after writing this we need to write the name of the column that is emp id comma the next column name is e name comma and the next column name is department name next column name is doj next column name is salary so next close the bracket and here i have to write values and inside of the round bracket i have to write the value for emp id for example i'm going to enter one comma e name here I'm going to write in a single pair of quotation mark as Ramesh. Whenever you find the data type char, var char and date type of data, it should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark and put comma. Next one is department name. So department name is also var char type of data. Hence I'm going to take a single quotation mark and here I'll write chemistry and end the single quote quotation mark put comma next after this we have got doj that is date of joining even date type of data should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark here for example i'm going to write 01 and month should be written in three characters for example june j u n you have to write so next i'm going to write 2008 for example and the single quotation mark after writing date of joining we have to enter salary for example i'm going to enter 40000 and close the bracket put semicolon and press enter here you can see one row created this is one method so another method is insert into i'm going to enter now second record of the second employee here i'll write insert into employee and here directly i'll write values and inside of the round bracket i'm going to enter values the first column is emp id 
one is already inserted now i'm going to type emp id 2 next comma after this it is asking e name of type varchar hence we have to take a single pair of quotation mark and here i'm going to write anand and end the single pair of quotation mark comma and here department is varchar type of data so hence we have to take single pair of quotation mark and now i'm going to write chemistry single pair of quotation mark comma next date of joining is single pair of quotation mark for example 10 i'll write august 2010 for example so end the single pair of quotation mark comma and the salary is 32000 okay next close the bracket put semicolon and press enter so one more record is created now we will study the third method that takes more than one value for example if you want to insert more number of records into the table the third method will be used so in order to insert the third record i'm going to use the third method of inserting values so i'll write sorry insert into next is employee here i'll write values and the first column is emp id so i'm going to use ampersand emp id comma next e name e name is var care type of data we have to use single pair of quotation mark ampersand e name and the single pair of quotation mark next comma next after e name is we have got department name so it should be written in single pair of quotation mark single pair of quotation mark ampersand department name and the quotation mark comma after department name we have got doj so this is also enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark ampersand doj single pair of quotation mark next after day doj we have got salary so of type number so hence we have to use only ampersand salary so close the bracket and put semicolon press enter here you can see it is asking the user to enter value for emp id now i'm going to enter three and here i'm going to write punanand and press enter here department name for example i'm going to enter physics next date of joining for example i'm going to 10 june 2005 and press enter so now it is asking the salary so i'm going to enter 32000 press enter so one row is created so that is third method third record is inserted so i want to execute the above command once again so what i need to do is i don't want to type it once again so i'm going to use forward slash and press enter here you can see it is asking the user to enter value for emp id now i'm going to enter four and press enter so here i'm going to enter the name e employee name like pradeep and press enter so department name i'll write mathematics and here date of joining randomly you can insert any value over here so i'll write july 2004 and press enter so salary for example right 44 5000 and press enter so once again i'm going to use forward slash press enter so now i'm going to insert value for emp id as 5 and press enter now it is asking the e, e name i'll write prakash and press enter department name i'll write biology press enter so date of joining i'll write 12 and here i'll write june 2010 and press enter so now salary i'm going to write 48 thousand and press enter here you can see one more row is created so i have to check out whether all the rows are created or not for that i have to use the command called select all from employee and put semicolon press enter here you can see we got the table with values right so after this after inserting all the records what action that we need to perform the next action is find the names of all employees 
who work for specific department yes now i am going to go for writing select e name from employee i'll write the where clause to get the specific department name uh, where department name that is the column name is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark i'll write chemistry single pair of quotation mark put semicolon and press enter here you can see there are two people working for chemistry department called ramesh and anand yes okay fine so after this what i need to calculate or check out is how many employees work for that department yes so i want to show them in the form of number for that i have to write select and the aggregate function called count we have to use count all from employee where department name is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark i'll write chemistry and the single pair of quotation mark put semicolon and press enter here you can see it is displaying two means two people are working for chemistry department yes next what functions that we need to perform now so we have to use some aggregate functions for example we are going to use min max and average right so let us write the command select min of salary so who is getting minimum of salary and next is max function so that returns maximum of salary so who is drawing maximum of salary and the next one is here we need to put comma to so comma after this also we need to put comma and then avg that gives us average of salary okay uh, from which table from employee table right so if you want to write department you can write department also using the where clause so where i'll write department underscore name is equal to i'll use chemistry because in chemistry uh, there are two employees working hence i'm taking the name of the department chemistry because we'll be able to get minimum maximum and average salary so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and press enter here you can see minimum of salary is 32000 maximum is 40000 and average by adding 32 plus 40000 72000 divided by 2 that gives us 36000 okay so after this aggregate functions okay next we need to calculate increment for employees for the specific department or all the department you can say right so for that i need to go for update so i need to update salaries right so i'll write update employee set salary is equal to so i have to calculate 10 percentage 10 percent of salary is to be added to the salary so salary is equal to salary plus salary into 10 divided by 100 and here uh, we can write where clause otherwise we can give uh, 10% to all the uh, employees right so here i'm going to put semicolon and press enter here you can see all the five rows are updated whether they are updated or not you can check using the up arrow mark so here you can find the previously executed commands you can see so i'm going to go to up to select all from employee and now i'm going to press enter here you can refer the above and below table the first employee called ramesh who was getting 40000 after incrementing the salary by 10% he is getting 44000 similarly all the rest of the four employees are also getting 10% increment in their salary next after this we can go for calculating a commission so before you calculate we have to add that particular field into the table right so here in order to add that we have to use the command called alter alter 
table employee and here i'm going to write add okay so inside the round bracket i'm going to write the name of the column is commission and the data type is number here i'm going to give the size as 5 and put semicolon press enter here you can see table altered means after after the salary column we have added one more column called commission so this is empty right now so we have to add values into the commission so how to add using update command so here i'm going to write update employee then we'll write set commission is equal to we have to give 5% of commission so here i'm going to write 5% on salary so i'll write salary into 5 divided by 100 and put semicolon and press enter here you can see all the five rows got updated yes so next i want to execute select all from employee for that once again i'm going to use up arrow mark till i get select all from employee here i got select all from employee now i'm going to press enter here you can see the commission is also added and it is updated i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you